If you saw my previous video, we were forced to harvest quite a lot of peppers out at the garden. Because we grow these at home every year. But sometimes you run into problems where they start and get imperfections on them that you know are only going to get worse. So you're forced to harvest an old bunch at once. And obviously, you're not going to use all those peppers in a couple of days. Plus, you need to make sure that they don't get any worse if they have got any problems with them. And the simplest way to do that is to freeze them. And freezing peppers is really simple because there's no boiling, there's no blanching. It's just a case of cutting them to size and getting them in a the freezer. So, first job is, obviously, you've harvested your peppers from the garden, so we need to wash them. So we'll do that now. So all these peppers have now been washed. So now we can prep them ready for freezing. And the way I'll do it is, I'll just cut off this top. But then I want this inside out. So I'll just run around with a knife and just free it up a little bit. Then it should just pop straight out. bringing all the seeds with it at the same time. So then you're just left with that. And if you wanted to, you could just pop that in a bag as it is, because it's quite small, and freeze it like that. But I like to half them. And then if there's any more imperfections, I can cut them away. And you don't want seeds in there at all. So we're just left with those. Some people like to remove this white part from the inside and I do as well but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then with the big peppers we basically just do the same, cut as close to the end as we can and then the top will fall off like that and the stem part leaving you once again with this part to just cut away. easy and the part that fell out has got all the seeds on it and if you grow peppers every year you can save those seeds for replanting it new season and again I'll cut them in half remove that white part and if you've got any that have imperfections on them like that just cut them out And then the rest of your peppers fine. And the big peppers I will just cut into pieces about that size anyway. So that one had half. And I'll try and get them relatively the same size. Again, we've got an imperfection on top. That's gone. Then we can cut the strips. So I'm going to carry on and get the rest of these prepped. If you're doing this with hot chilli peppers, you might want to wear gloves because the seeds will really burn your fingers if they're very hot peppers. So a few minutes later and all those peppers are now nicely prepped and they're all more or less the same size. So now you've got two choices with these. You can just pop them into a freezer bag or you can place them on a tray, open freeze them and then put them in a bag. And the only difference is that if you lay them out on a tray and freeze them first, then when you transfer them to the bag, they're all going to be individual. So you can just take a few out at a time if that's what you need. So that part I shall leave up to you. But before you transfer them to your bag, make sure they're dry as well. Also they will just freeze together. So I'm just going to pop them all in this freezer bag. And then we'll force that air out as well, as much as we can. And then we'll lock it up. 
So there you've got your bag of fresh bell peppers all ready to go in the freezer. So, very quick, very simple to do. So if you do get an abundance of peppers from an harvest, or if you spot a deal in a supermarket where you can get lots and lots really cheap, you now know that for the sake of a few minutes, you can just prep them, pop them in your freezer. And then they're ready when you need them and nothing has gone to waste. So if you're interested in seeing what other things we preserve that we grow in the garden and how we do it, then just hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and we'll see you next time.